Ladies and gentlemen, this 3090 from Asus, codename White Trash, has returned. And by returned, I mean I fixed it before, but something has failed and today we're going to find out what. Hello Internet! Do you remember this 3090 with a cracked board? Shortly after warranty had expired, it decided to come back with the complaint of crashing and all sorts of things. So let's plug it in and see if we can replicate all sorts of things. After running it in superposition, none of those all sorts of things came up, so I ran it again to warm it up even more. And right before the end of the test, it gave me a black screen and strange sound. As you can see, we have a blue screen of death, so I'll go ahead and run a memory test while the board is still warm. And I'll keep my fingers on the fans, preventing them from spinning so that the board will not cool down, as it may affect the result. And not long after, we have a fail, so let's take this thing apart and see what's going on. For whatever reason, the very last chip is reporting problems. Not knowing why that is, I suspect it has something to do with a lack of communication. And because there's really no reliable way to tell which chip is causing the problem, back or the front one, I will reboil them both and see if that helps. Ok, reball is done, let's verify the resistances on memory and 1.8 volt rails and power the card and see if it blows up by pressing this very special button. Card successfully produced an image. Hopefully problem is solved, so let's assemble it back and run more tests. But when I ran a test after card was assembled, we now have errors on both channels instead of one. Well that sucks. It makes me wonder if any more pads got ripped. One way to find out is to remove the core and have a look. So let's remove the core and have a look.
As I suspected, there were at least two more pads that got ripped, suggesting that sometimes pads may look like they're attached, but they're barely hanging to their life, and time is all it takes to finish them off. And with that done, all the stress tests have passed, and I have to admit that fixing ripped pads under the core is not as easy as I thought, and it is extremely hard to get it right the first time. Oh, and in case you wonder, I did not charge full repair price. I could, since it was out of warranty, but I decided not to punish the customer any more than it already has. And with the hefty discount, customer is happy, and I am satisfied that once again this card is fixed. It's a win-win for both. With that said, thank you for watching, and have a blessed day. Goodbye.